UFOs exist? This is the central question raised in this program. Many sightings may be attributed to what are natural phenomena or experimental aircraft, amongst other things. By the end of this program, we hope to have shown you undeniable evidence that UFOs exist and that they are controlled by an outside intelligence. Let some witnesses speak for themselves. Giovanni Cavezio, a wine grower. Sorvolavo una zona molto molto conosciuta e non c'era nulla di particolare. Ad un tratto però la I was hang gliding over an area I knew well. Tratta da qualche cosa di 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 così di inconsueto, no? There was nothing special. My attention was attracted by something unusual. It was going towards the horizon, above the woods. It was something I couldn't define, considering the distance. The shape was about 2,000 meters away, and the closer I came, the more the object became difficult to define. It was hovering like a helicopter, but I realized it was nothing like that. It generated a very strong light and lacked hard outlines. It had a very strong, bright halo of light. When it was three to four thousand meters, it went away from me in a very impressive way. It was so fast that you could barely follow it with your eyes. In form, it was dome-like, with three or four objects hanging from the sides. The diameter was between five and ten meters, and it was lead-colored. Within a moment, it had disappeared over the horizon, without a sound and without a smoke trail or anything. I wanted to keep it to myself, as these sort of things are unexpected. That evening, when I got home, I didn't even talk to any family about it. Later, when I went to a restaurant, I met a friend interested in hang gliding, who had seen me flying in the area. He insisted I must have seen something special, because he had. Looking up, he'd seen something which he couldn't define, but which had hurtled across the sky and then disappeared. Recandomi un po' più tardi al ristorante, incontrai un amico interessato di volo libero, il quale mi disse di avermi visto attraversare. We decided that he had seen the same thing as myself. Insistendo nell'affermare che io avrei dovuto per forza aver osservato qualche cosa di molto particolare, perché lui trovandosi in zona fiume e guardando verso l'alto vide a un certo punto un qualche cosa di indefinibile che si stagliava contro il cielo e che poi dopo scomparve dalla, dal suo angolo visivo. No? Anche io dopo un momentino di, di così eh, decisi di, di, di dirgli insomma quello che più o meno avevo visto. In this second interview, we have the experience of another witness. She relates a similar story to many thousands of others, with a harsh halo of light behind which a sphere or disk appears, and then disappears away at very high speed. Miriam Bitsuzero, housewife. I got up to go to the toilet, and the shutters were down. I opened them. I saw a ship on the lawn. 
My curiosity got the better of me and looked out. I saw something suspended over the house, but I couldn't describe it. It had a white illuminated base, rounded sides with a red band on the right and a blue band on the left. Its shape was triangular. The center was a kind of pulsating band of light. Was there something solid there? Oh, yes. You could see grey bits, but they were covered by the pulsating. It was very quiet. I noticed that the hands of the clock were on three, then quarter past three. Then it was quarter to five. What happened to that lost hour and a quarter? I can't remember what happened. But the next day, my daughter-in-law's mother noticed a strange shape on my left temple. I said I hadn't hurt myself and it was very small. The sequence is usually the same, a UFO sighting, a temporary absence and a mark on the head. Perhaps this was an abduction, a strange case, but no different to thousands of others. Several people have said that they saw it, people who work at the airport, including a pilot. After several days, the police took my statement. They also told me to keep the incident quiet. On the theme of abductions, the recent scientific studies of the medical evidence have started to confirm some of these stories. These Swiss witnesses prefer to remain anonymous. Suddenly, in the rear view mirror, I saw a red light about the size of a table tennis ball, which stopped about a meter and a half from my car. It was about 10 by 15 centimeters across. Suddenly, it started to oscillate from left to right. It moved from the left side of the car and then to the right. Everything was bright red, even inside the car. Then at the height of that rock, you can see up there on the right-hand side of the road, the car rose. Before I lost consciousness, I saw the little red ball flip to the back seat. Then at about 30 meters from that building up there, there was a white glow, and I found myself on the road again. This is a rare case of abduction inside the car itself. We know of others in both South America and the USA. It was about 10.30 p.m. Three yellow beacons were suspended about 10 meters over the forest. They shone for about 15 to 20 minutes. They didn't move. I went towards the forest to see what it was. In my opinion, it was a spaceship. It had a distinctive shape and those lights on top of it. Having reached this tree here, I decided to go up the hill for a better view. I went up the slope, and when I reached the hilltop, I found myself face to face with an enormous hemisphere of light, which at the base was between 10 and 15 meters across. I got nearer and my whole body started to shake. In front of me, a UFO was producing a deafening sound, emitting similar vibrations to a transformer. At a point, I ran into a wall of lights as solid as if I'd run into a concrete wall. I got close three or four times, and every time I ran into this wall. After about 15 to 20 minutes, the UFO took off like a helicopter. It went silently except for a slight hissing noise. No more than three minutes later, two Swiss Army Mirage jets flew over. <laughs> 